coming up, I didn't have the education. I'm 100% self-taught as a photographer. I'm going to become reasonably successful. Successful. What's like? How does someone get your job? What is your path, and how, how have you got to the place you're in right now? Because it's messy and awkward. Usually, we find yeah. out with the creative process. So, tell me about yours. Yeah. So, I I went to NYU, but I didn't finish. Um, and uh, I actually I started as Kevin Spacey's assistant 15 years ago. And doing that, I was basically just like a sponge, and I just took in all the information that, that I could. And I thought I wanted to be a filmmaker or a writer. Mm-hmm. I realized I couldn't write and save my life. <laughs> um, and I sort of just fell into producing. Um, and But prior to that, I created a site called, it was, at, it was called TriggerStreet.com at the time, it's now Trigger Street Labs, which was a platform for aspiring filmmakers and cool. screenwriters. Uh, and basically, it's a place for them to get exposure and get feedback on their work. Um, and while doing that, I started coming across um, projects that people were bringing to us, be, trying more to get to Kevin or to have his, uh, his name on it. Yeah. And uh, I just kind of took that opportunity and ran with it uh, to start producing and did a, two documentaries to start. And then I got the rights to uh, uh, Ben Mesrick's book, Bringing Down the House, which yes. became 21. Um, and just started taking off from there. And... Uh, but really, it was getting my foot in the door as an assistant, and then and being a sponge and absorbing as much information as I could. I think that I, I see a pattern with all of my friends who are successful artists at varying degrees. You know, Oscar nominee, Oscar winners, or people who are just happy to make a living doing what they're doing their their own art. That <clears throat> it happens. It's I guess it, it used to be. It's our view at Creative Live. I think I can speak for the company. I'll speak for myself. That. There used to be one primary path for becoming. You went to this, and then you did this, and then mm-hmm. you did this, and whether that was film school or art school or whatever the path, there was kind of a chiseled out path. Yeah. And one of my favorite things is with the 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 web being what it is now. There are almost there are infinite. No rules. There no are no rules. rules. There's yeah. an infinite number of paths. And and when folks at home, the people who are aspiring filmmakers and designers and photographers and audio folks. I think one of the things that we can do as people who are living in the, posi- in the in the role as artists and creators is to remind those folks that, hey, there's a million ways to mm-hmm. slice an apple, and it is it is the first time in the history of the world that we can literally say that. So. If, if I knew the, the way to get to where I am now, then I'd be the richest guy on the planet. <laughs> right. Because there is no, I mean, it's no has their own journey. Yeah. And, but that's it's not a commonly held belief. I think the belief is when you, you know, you see someone, you see Macklemore, who's a friend, standing on stage, like, oh wow, he obviously did this and this and this. Mm-hmm. No. Absolutely not. No. It's a very messy process. And, uh, and I always say that the, the key to it is, and, and it's a, the, the the adage of, and I'm not taking credit for it, it's been said a lot of times. I got it from Robert Evans. Is it's opportunity met by preparation. Mm-hmm. And I've always added on to that. And the key is being able to identify the opportunities and taking them or taking the risk where a lot of, I could have taken a safe path a lot of times and a lot of people do. And maybe that is for some people, but you won't end up in my position by being safe yes. or in, right. in her position by being Certainly. safe. You have There's to so much risk. risk and vulnerability that we've got to put ourselves on. I, I really appreciate that. Even the term vulnerability is really yeah. surfacing now as what we have to do as artists is put ourselves out there. And as human beings, like skip the whole artist thing, but as human beings, if we're going to sort of connect with other human beings in a meaningful way, art, I think there's an extra level on top of mm-hmm. that that we are required to step forward and turn ourselves inside out. Um, and one thing I noticed about Dana that I really love is that he d- does projects that he's passionate about. And to me, mm-hmm. as, as an artist, as a singer, actor, producer, what you do if we do our truth you're doing your truth for this sure was your that's right i've been a you know, photographer it's the only career i've ever had and now i'm trying to help and now others you're do doing that it too. and if you do your truth i mean what's the definition of success but it's true success and yeah. true happiness and he he does things that speak to him and i like that that's very attractive because then you know it's not fake yeah mm-hmm. Well, it's also, I think it makes it a lot easier to get things done. And when the going gets tough, you've got that extra soul where someone else might not. If you're producing somebody else's project or something you don't care about, yeah, you can't do it. it. It's like, you know, singing someone else's song. It's really, really hard. When it when it comes down to it, what we're trying to we're trying to say a message and to be able to stand behind that message in a meaningful way is mm-hmm. is a really important part of it. Yeah, I mean, making making a film is extremely difficult, and if you're not passionate about it, I think you're dead in the water. Oh, forget yeah. it.